Hi, everyone. And welcome to all who are joining us tonight. Those of you at a distance, and those of you gathered in the sanctuary tonight. Maybe you are a longtime STEP student, or maybe you just clicked on a link and you don't know what you've entered into. But that's OK. Many of us have, all of us have come through the mystery. Today is day 11 of the 2015 Steps to Knowledge Vigil. My name is Allison, and I am a student of the New Message from God. I've been in relationship with the New Message for 10 years, during which time I have engaged with Steps to Knowledge. We are commemorating the 20-day period in 1989 when the sacred book, Steps to Knowledge, was received through the messenger, Marshall Vian Summers. So let us first take a moment to surround and protect ourselves and our environment with the love and the grace of God. I'd like to first read a testimonial that was sent from Annie in Michigan. Annie is a member of our worldwide community of STEP students. Hello to all of my fellow students in this world and beyond. First, I would like to thank all of you who have committed yourself to bringing steps to this world. For giving of yourself, your love, your time, your life, so this message is kept alive. I wish I could express the gratitude I feel for each and every one of you. Marshall, Patricia, Reed, the society, for your love and dedication for what you are doing. Your journey has made our journey possible. The enormity of that is not lost upon me. A mere thank you cannot convey my feelings of gratitude and love for what you have done and what you continue to do. But from my heart, I do thank you. My zigzagged path finally brought me to knowledge. It took over 20 years to find it. But find it I did. And once I got on the website, I started reading and did not stop. I am only into my second year of studying steps. And as many other students have said, the change has been incremental and, at times, difficult. Some steps were easier than others. Steps has been a total dedication, a labor of love, so to speak as I can feel myself expanding my awareness of what knowledge is, as knowledge itself I cannot seem to totally grasp. But then, it is a mystery. My path back to my reclamation of knowledge has been hard work. It is dedication. It is learning to unlearn. It is listening to the inner teachers. It can be isolation. And then there can be doubt, doubt from within. Am I doing this right? and doubt from without, what am I doing? But with each new understanding, each new insight, I realize it is right. These insights creep up on me, like when an opportunity presents itself for me to respond with knowledge, to ask knowledge, to listen for knowledge to guide me, it is then I realize knowledge is real. The change has been incremental, yet powerful. I cannot tell you how many times I read a step or something from one of the books Marshall has written, and I am literally in awe. So profound are the words that are sinking in, opening up further my awareness, my knowing. I just have to sit there for a minute and take it all in. I feel so blessed to have found the new message in this lifetime. I do not come to conclusion as to where this life's journey will take me, 
I only know that I will be going somewhere, and with each step, I feel closer to the mystery, closer to knowledge. So to all of those who have written to express and share your stories, to all of those whom I have watched give their support and testimony about Marshall and the message, thank you. Your words and dedication are powerful. They have given me much support and comfort. And for my fellow students beyond this world, I thank you for your love and support, and I hope you're feeling the love and support from your fellow students in this world. Nasinovari Koram, Annie. Thank you, Annie. So I want to share a little bit about when I found the new message and um, follow that with a step that has deep connection to that um, story. So I honor that time in 2005 when I first cracked open Living the Way of Knowledge, which is one of the sacred books of the new message. It was a very sweet time. And somehow, there was an opening within me. Despite my uh, ongoing efforts at um, living a life under my own direction. But what I feel is most important is when, a few years later, I began to truly engage with steps. Because I had, I had come to this practice like I did anything in college, in school, is to be a good student, get it done, close the books, take the test, and go on with my life. And it was like two different lives. I don't recommend doing the steps in a superficial way and forgetting about it during the day. I, I am deeply thankful that I began to allow the steps to work in my life. But I want to emphasize that it was a decision and it was a lot of work. I really spent years not knowing this was a calling and just thinking it was uh, a practice and a way to be a good, enriched person in the world. It is, but um, coming into communication was, was vital. And to not just serve a curriculum to get a good outcome is what was an important change. So when Reed asked us the first night of the vigil those three questions, the third one, what is most important, the answer or the word that I deeply felt was expression. And a few nights later, I really began to feel how important this is. I had a clue, at least, as to what that means for me. For to finally be a vehicle to express the work of steps to knowledge, to express my source, God, this deeper intelligence that is within me. That's where it was, and that's what brought me here, really. So I would like to read step 153 so that we might spend this time together to focus on why we've come. Step 153, my source wishes to express itself through me. You were created to be an expression of your source. You were created to be an extension of your source. You were created to be a part of your source. Your life is communication, for communication is life. Communication is the extension of knowledge. It is not merely sharing the idea, sharing of little ideas from one separated mind to another. Communication is far greater for communication creates life and extends life. And within this is all joy and fulfillment. 
Within this is the depth of all meaning. Here, darkness and light mix together and cease their separation. Here, all opposites blend and melt into each other. This is wish to communicate the tension of humanity. Remind yourself upon the hour that you were meant to express the will of your source. Within your two practice periods today, allow yourself to enter stillness and peace once again. Allow yourself to be an open vehicle through which life may flow freely, through which life may express itself today. So let us now begin our 30 minute meditation together and take whatever time you need to be with your step for the day and then enter into stillness.
Nasi Novare Koram. The presence of the teachers of God is with us. Thank you. Meditating with all of you really helps me to breathe easier. Not just tonight. <clears throat> and now I'd like to read a passage about steps to knowledge from the new message. And this comes to us from the turning point received in 2013. God's new revelation in the world can prepare you, for it is without human corruption. It is without human commentary. It is without the weight of history, human conflict, and misunderstanding. Here, the steps to knowledge are provided in possible terms. They are challenging because you must be engaged. You do not want your mind to be drifting in a fog of confusion and anxiety. You want to bring it into the engagement as strongly as possible. You do not want your preparation for your greater life to be half-hearted or based on ambivalence or confusion. I'd like to say a few words about Steps to Knowledge tonight. Why it's here, what it means. And what it's intended to do for all who can study it. First of all, Steps to Knowledge is an ancient teaching it has been used in the universe in many places. What we are receiving now is the version of Steps to Knowledge designed for the human family, designed for our temperament, our world, our potential, our crises, our general condition. It is a gift from the creator of all life, through the angelic assembly. It's being presented in a pure form as it was received. It has a series of steps that work both practically and mysteriously to re-engage you with the deeper intelligence that God has put within you which alone holds the truth about who you are, why you're here in the world at this time, and what you're here to achieve. This deeper part of you that exists beyond the realm and the reach of the intellect is without corruption. It is not afraid of the world. It does not think the way that your worldly mind thinks your worldly mind that has been conditioned to such a great degree by your environment and experience of life here. This deeper knowledge represents your true nature, the mortal aspect of yourself that is still connected to God. And this connection defies all religious understanding and explanation. It is so fundamental, so elemental to who you are and what you're here to do. It is through knowledge that the will of the Creator can be expressed, as Allison pointed out tonight. So in one sense, steps to knowledge can be seen as a return to true relationship. A true relationship with yourself. 
a true relationship between the part of you that is wandering and lost in the world and the part of you that is still at your foundation, connected to your source and to your purpose here. It is a return to true relationship with others based upon purpose and destiny where there are certain other people in life whom you are destined to find and to meet. And they too hold the key and part of the puzzle to your life where they are destined to do something important in the world with you. Beyond all the attractions of beauty, wealth, and charm, this connection at the level of knowledge is so powerful in relationship. Steps to knowledge is a return to true relationship with those who sent you into the world, who exist beyond the visible range, who watch over you to see if you can find within yourself that deeper need, a greater desire for meaning, true relationship and purpose that can initiate a return another dimension of your life, the most important activity you can engage in. For God saves all who are separated through knowledge and unites them purposely in meaningful relationships to bring service, grace, and value to this world and to all worlds in the universe. So great is the plan of God that no theology could contain it or explain it. For God has spoken again now in a world of cataclys cataclysmic change, a world of religious violence and division, a world facing the realities of life in the universe for the very first time. For a humanity who is unprepared and unaware of what is coming over the horizon. A great gift of preparation. And Steps to Knowledge represents, within God's new revelation for the world, part of that preparation. It is so essential, given in words so simple yet so deep that you cannot exhaust its wealth and its wisdom. given in a form easily translatable into other languages, so that it may speak to people of all faith traditions and nationalities, rich and poor, in all corners of the world. Only the genius of the Creator could create such a thing. that can reach so many people who live in such different parts of the world, such different realities. Speak to them, bring them together, and set in motion a great force of unity and cooperation, which would be necessary for humanity to survive the great waves of change that are coming, the great environmental waves of change, times of great upheaval and uncertainty. This is not the end times. This is a time of great transition, where humanity faces a challenge of creating a greater unity in preparation for its engagement with a universe full of intelligent life. A non-human universe where freedom is rare. Steps to knowledge and the new revelation from God is to prepare humanity for this as well. If you can take these steps, even if you cannot take all of them at once, it will bring about a profound change in your life. At a deeper level, not just a change of ideas or beliefs, but a change of orientation in how you regard yourself, others, and the whole world. Only the power of heaven can do this. And the power of heaven is in steps to knowledge.
May this power be yours to receive and to study and to take a greater journey that has been waiting for you for so long. Thank you, Marshall. And thank you all for joining us tonight. And we hope to see you tomorrow evening as the Steps Vigil continues. Good night.